All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right, as you can see, the, title, the lesson is titled, Endure Satan's Final Ways of Affliction and Temptation. All right, and this is a very important topic because of the times that we come in, if the Most High is giving you the spirit to believe, right, the eyes to see, like, you know, like it says, uh, 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 Ecclesiastes 8 and 5, a wise man, you know, a uh, heart discernible time and judgment, right? So you could discern uh, uh, what, what, what time we in. And, you know, if the Most High is giving you that type of heart, you can see that we in some dark times and we got some darker times ahead, right? So Satan is going to be afflicting us, right? Because the spiritual demon Satan and also uh, Esau, right, knows that he has but a short time left just to afflict us. So what 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 must we do as men as men and women of the heavenly Father, right? We got to stay strong. We got to endure. We got to endure temptation, right? Because when them dark times and Jacob's trouble come, what's gonna happen? You know, you're gonna get different thoughts in your mind, right? Satan gonna be trying to plague you, right? You know, you might not have another brother around you. What if you by yourself? So this is the time to build up your faith and make yourself strong right now. Well, ultimately, it's a gift from the Most High. But this is the time to do your due diligence, right? Make sure you got the precepts that you're going to need out there, you know, when you buy yourself and you just got your sword and no YouTube or no Google to word search. You see what I'm saying? Make sure you got those things committed to your memory, right? Because that's the same way Yahweh Shai, he fought temptation, right? When Satan tried to tempt him, you fight it with scripture, right? And then also for those of you, you know, brothers, you know, and sisters who, who got sister sisterhood and brothers around you, right? Take solace in the fact that your brothers, they, they don't went through the same temptation you don't went through and, and already done conquered and, and, and achieved, right? So if the Most High did it through them, he can definitely do it through you as well, man, right? And that's in 1 Peter's chapter 5, and I'm going to start at verse 8. Be sober, be, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walk of about seeking whom he may devour. Just like he did with Job, man. But he walking around seeking who he may devour, right? This brother looking a little weak. Ah, you know what? I'm going to play on that. Are oh, you having problems with this? Oh, I'm going to play on that, right? You know, whatever, whatever it is that you're struggling with, however Satan's afflicting you, whether it be at your job, whether it be at home, you know, uh, 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 you know whether it be money, Whatever it be, man, you know, whether it be your boss, your rib, your, your cousin, your brother, you know, your will, whatever. Satan can, Satan, Satan is Satan is looking to afflict you and use any and any any means to get you knocked out of this thing. So that way you you know uh you won't receive that crown. All right? Verse 9. Whom resisteth steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. So your brothers, you know, they had to go through the same things you went through. You're not the first person, right? You're not going to be the only one going through Jacob's trouble, right? And it's other brothers that you know, based off of scripture, that's going to endure until the end, right? They're, they're, I, if I'm in Jacob's trouble and I'm by myself, I know for a fact that there, there's going to be 144,000 men, right? And I know some of the 144,000 are going to be dead. And some of them are going to be alive at the time when Yahweh Shah comes back, right? So those brothers that, that made it always to the end, they had to go through some of the stuff that I'm going through too if I'm in Jacob's trouble, right? So if they're not going to fall, I believe and have a, 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 I have faith in my, in, my, in my power, right? My, my almighty power, Yahweh, that he, that he going to keep me alive and, and, and allow me to uh, uh, endure that temptation, right? And endure that affliction just like he did for the rest of those brothers, right? So you got to have that faith, man, right? Because you're not going to be the only one. So take solace from that, man. And, and, and remember what you're do, what you doing it for and who you're doing it for, man, right? Verse 10, but the, God of, uh, but the God of all grace, who have called us unto his eternal glory by Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish and strengthen and settle you, man. So after you suffer for a little while, you know, because of course the most the most high he got to prove us. Like it says, like it says in Zechariah 13 8, two thirds is he gonna destroy, one third he's gonna bring through the fire and try them as gold is tried through the furnace of adversity, right? So we're gonna be tried. So you so, so for you to expect anything else, man, you lying to yourself. 
and, and you setting yourself up for failure. Get your mind right. Get your get your get your soul, your, your spirit prepared, you know, as much as you can for what for what you about to uh, have to go endure, man. Right now for everybody, you know, it's going to be different. Some people is going to be the same, you know, but you, you, you know, the most high he going to have you struggle for a little bit. Have you go through some stuff. But after a while, you know, like the, like the merciful, uh, 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 ungracious God that he is, the uh, power that he is, man. You know, he's gonna, uh, he's gonna have us, you know, you know, be settled, right? And he's gonna, he's gonna have us, uh, be strengthened, right? So you gotta, you gotta constantly, you know, endure, man, and and, and count it as a good thing when you go through things, man, because right, you know, the Most High chastening of him who he loved, man. So if you going through things and he trying you. Right, and he ain't just utterly destroy you, right, and, and and destroy you just while you doing wickedness. Not saying like you know you uh you doing righteousness and they put you on a guillotine and you die. That's 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 a righteous death, right? Because you died, you know, in, in the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, right? So you gotta you gotta you gotta count that as a blessing when you go when you go through when you go through these things when you get afflicted. And I know it's hard, right? And I know it's easy to say, yeah. You gotta, uh, you gotta, you gotta endure, brother. You, you know, you gotta laugh at it. You know, you gotta be, you gotta, uh, uh, be glad and, and be glad and merry of heart. All right. So let me read this, James one and two. My brother, all right, my brother, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this that the trying of your faith worketh worketh patience. All right. So look. Now, are you supposed to be laughing like a buffoon? Yeah, yeah, man. I'm glad somebody just. You know, uh, stole stole a hundred dollars from me, right? No, it, of course you're not gonna be glad at that. But what what it's saying is, like inside, you know, hey, I know that's the Most High trying to test me, right? So I'm I'm, I'm joyous that the Most High is still dealing with me to the point where He still wants to test me. That means you know He ain't take that spirit from you, man, right? Because I know I've been doing everything I can. And this truth to try to push this truth to the four corners of the earth to make my calling to my election sure and, and things like this is happening to me, that's that's just, that's that's a test from the most high. So I'm glad that the most high is still testing me. Not jumping up and down like a buffoon, right? But you know, it's it's just you know the whole mindset behind it, right? Don't be in that woe is me spirit. Be thankful that the most high is still dealing with you, right? Because you're not gonna only get good from the most high, you're gonna get some bad too. Because this whole purpose of, of, of this life that you live in is for you to be tested and see if you go or if you're not, man. Right. So count it joy, because when you when you constantly going through things, what it does is it builds you up. It makes you strong. So next time you go through it, you I know how to handle this. I had not been through this before. And now you can go and see fit to, you know, teach somebody else because now you got patience. So when you go through stuff, it ain't, it ain't going to trip you out as bad. It ain't going to phase you. Right. So let me go ahead and grab uh, Revelations 3 and 10, all right? So I'll grab a couple precepts. I ain't trying to make this video too long. You know, Jake, you know, they, they see 20 minutes, 30 minutes. They're like, ah, I'm out of here. All right. So Revelations 3 and 10. Mm -hmm. It says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from, uh, from the hour of temptation. Right, so if you're doing what the most high requires of you, right? You're trying to make videos, right? You on the highways and byways, faithfully, diligently. You know, you out there, you know, whatever your office is, you holding it down to to to, to the T and you trying to be the best at it that, 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 that you can be, right? And you doing what you do for the most high, making sure you keeping his law, statutes, and commandments, making sure you're trying to feed the flock, you know, and you be fed yourself, constantly studying, right? You're doing everything that you can do to try to make your election sure, right? Because thou hast kept the word of, of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. So the hour of temptation, right, that's going to come upon the whole world. Yo, get this, get, uh, get this, get, get this chip, man, if you want to eat. You know, you got, your, you got your kid crying, daddy, daddy, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, right? Now, you know, you know what I'm saying? You ain't eating a couple of days and you keep telling them, look, man, the Lord going to provide for us. And they might not have the same faith as you. Your rib might not have the same faith as you. And she might be tempting you, you know? All right? And you don't want to see your daughter or your or, or your son just, you know, uh be taken away. Well, she might, she might grab you, grab, grab, grab your child 
and dip and say, man, this nigga crazy. What you going to do? Right? So the, the most high, he's going to provide us, right, with a way out of this temptation, right? Where it's like, when I say out of it, I'm not talking about we're not going to have to go through nothing because that's just not it. Right. You are going to have to struggle. You won't have to go through some things in Jacob's trouble, but it's going to be at after after you endure it and you don't fold. The most High is going to provide for you a way to get out of that. You see what I'm saying? Like I said, in, in you know, uh, in, in, in first Peter's. Right. No, no, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. yeah first Peter's five and nine. You know, he he, he going to settle you. Right. I'm sorry. Five and ten. So he's going to settle you. He's going to strengthen you. You see what I'm saying? After you after you struggle for a little while, you know, it might be it might be two or three days you ain't eat. It might be a day you ain't eat, right? Or drink no water. And then you come across some water and the most high bless you. See, but you you know, he, he you know, you gotta you gotta it's a it's a give and get, man, right? So you gotta put forth that effort, you gotta put forth that strength. It says I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which will come upon all the world, to try them that dwell upon the earth, right? Verse 11, behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. So what is that? Hold fast to that wisdom, that, that strength, that endurance, right? To that patience that you have that the Most High done blessed you with, right? Because it's a gift from the Most High. You see what I'm saying? So hold fast to that, right? Because wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Hold fast to what you believe, right? And what do you believe? That Yahweh is going to send his son Yahweh Shai? And the legion of angels to take this place, man. Right? That that you know that that you know he he's gonna have he's gonna have uh uh uh, uh the, the kings of Russia and, and China shoot missiles over here, right? And destroy this place and and and, and you know uh beam his beam his men up on them chariots and 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 then subdue the world, man. Right? So we believe that. Hold fast to that, man. So when you going through things, right? You know when you when you lifting weights and everything. And, and you trying to get in shape, all you thinking about is your dream body. That's what holds you on, right? When all that pain, you think about your gains, you know? You think about how how, how tight your muscle going to look, right? So you so you holding on to that reward, that thing that you know is going to happen as long as you keep diligent on that same path, right? So hold fast to that. Verse 12, him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, right? And that's a trinity cut. And he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God. And I will write upon him my new name. Now, Yahweh is not going to have a new name. It's his name, Yahweh Shah, but just the, the people in the world, nobody knows him as Yahweh Shah. They, they don't, it, it, only a select few men and women really know Yahweh Shah's name. You see what I'm saying? But this is talking about, right? If you overcome, you're going to get a reward, man. But you got, but you got to hold fast, and you got to keep enduring, right? Or else you ain't gonna get that reward, right? Now let me go Revelations two, and twenty five, and I'm gonna end off here, right? We'll go all the way down to twenty seven, Revelations two and twenty five. But that which ye have already, hold fast till I come. So what? Did, what do you have already? This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Your faith, right? Hold fast to that till he, till till, till your Hawa Shah comes. Verse 26, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. So you, so if you hold fast and endure that temptation that's coming, right? The most high is gonna he's gonna have Yahweh Shai give you power over these nations, man, that afflicted you, right? For this brief little moment, for this little season that he's been loosed, right? For this little season. If you endure the hell that it, you know that 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 that's, that's coming upon you and, and and our people, the Most High He's gonna give you rulership over these nations for eternity. You understand? All right, I want to grab so many more precepts. Hold on, and and He shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as even as I receive my Father. All right, so yeah, man, I want to rule over the nations. So you gotta show you gotta hold fast to that, right? Hold on, let me let me just grab where's it as these Ephesians. Right? Ephesians 2 and 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is a gift of the most high. Right? So 
if you if you got the faith, you know, to constantly, you know, uh uh, you know, endure that temptation, right? And and, and take it, whatever you know you, you gotta go through, take it on the chin and, and still endure and have faith, just like Job did, right? Just like Abraham, right? Just like Daniel, right? If you constantly have that faith, man, right, you're gonna be saved. But it's a gift from the most high. So inevitably, man, you just had to be chosen, right? So, you know, we don't know who, who, who was chosen and who's not yet to, to be that 144, but make it call an election sure, right? And I'm going to make this my last John, right? Romans 8 and 18. For I reckon that the sufferings uh, of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us, right? So the sufferings that you have to go through, right? Because, you know, First uh, Peter 5, uh, 5 and 10, you know, you're going to suffer a little while and then the Most High is going to settle you, right? And strengthen you, right? So after you after you suffer for a little while, the Most High, he's going he gonna to take care of you. But these sufferings are not worthy to be compared to what we're going to inherit, man. And if you wanted 144,000 and being joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, man, it ain't, ain't none of this crap worthy to be compared to what you're going to receive in that kingdom, man. So hold hold tight, man. Hold fast to um, to what it is, you know, to, 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 this, to this faith, man, to this doctrine, right? To, uh, to the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that the Most High has blessed you with, right? Because it is a gift and, and endure, man. So with that, I'm going to say Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shah, Barakatah, Shalawan.